Hello, today we're going to talk about one of the most common questions we get in physical therapy. How long is it going to take me to get better? So if you've ever had an ankle injury, a knee injury, or if you're currently having some back pain, this is the video to keep watching, so stay tuned to the end. Hello, my name is Jeff Peterson. I'm a physical therapist here at Peterson Physical Therapy. And we're gonna to talk today about the most common question we get in therapy, which is, how long is it gonna take me to get better? Or how long will it take me to heal? And so if this video is helpful to you, feel free to like it. You can subscribe to it and feel free to make comments of uh, if it was helpful or other issues you wanna discuss. So today what I wanna talk about is the general healing of tissues offer some guidelines in terms of timelines, and then give you some tips on how to maximize those, uh, the healing of specific injuries, like if you've had an ankle or a knee injury. And then we'll talk about specific injuries in later, later blogs. So keep an eye out for those. Okay, so I first wanna talk about the stages of healing. So in the stages of healing, it, it, they are sequential, and it's important for each stage to be completed and completed successfully for proper healing to occur. So the first stage is hemostasis. It literally means blood stoppage. So that's where you start to get a, a decrease in the amount of blood that's entering any kind of wound to tissue. The second stage is the inflammatory stage, which is really leakage. So the, the inflammatory stage, this fluid that's leaked that has some salt and other stuff in it that creates some local swelling, but it's really designed to combat infection. The, uh, next stage of healing is proliferation. It's, it's literally reproduction of collagen cells to create a matrix or a, or a foundation of the new tissue. And then the maturation is when that, those new cells start to get remodeled so they represent healthy tissue. So there's a lot of things that can affect that. There are some general factors that can affect uh, how well those stages of healing occur in specific tissue. And some of those include cardiovascular issues, if you have heart disease or, or uh, venous insufficiency or uh, peripheral artery disease or any kind of decrease in the, inf uh, in the circulation to an area that's been injured. It's essentially the pre-injury metabolic state of your body. The healthier you are metabolically, the more quickly you're going to heal. That's one of the challenges in people that have diabetes when they don't heal quite as well because of the impact that the diabetes and the blood sugar has on the circulation of tissue. The other thing that can really impact uh, how well and quickly people heal is the severity of injury. If you have, and we'll talk about this very specifically when we go over the timelines of injury. For example, for ligament injuries, they grade them on a scale of one, two, or three. So if you imagine my fingers being a ligament, if I just stretch this ligament a little bit, that can really be painful. The tissue is damaged. There are neurological implications in terms of stability and mechanical uh, implications related to stability. Um, but that's not as severe as a stage two, where up to about 50% of those fibers are actually separated and then a grade three might be a complete tear of that ligament where it may not heal together unless uh, you have some kind of surgical intervention. So the severity of the injury is certainly gonna impact the timeline. And then of course, um, the, the, how you care for that injury. So there are some things that we need to do that we're gonna talk about in future um, videos and blogs as far as how to maximize the healing of tissue. So in musculoskeletal injuries, if you overload an injury, if you have a fracture in a femur, uh, you do need a certain amount of load on there, but depending upon the severity of that injury, how much load, and if you have too much load, it's not gonna allow that injury to heal. So let's talk about some timelines of injuries related to some of the um, severity of injuries. So if you look at a, a muscle, so muscles are also graded one, two, and three in terms of severity. In a grade one muscle injury, you might be looking at two to four weeks. In a grade two, eight to 16 weeks. 
in a grade three where you have a complete rupture of a muscle, you might be looking up as much as 12 months for that injury to heal. Um, tendons, they, they grade those more in acute, subacute, or chronic. So you've all heard of tendonitis, if you had tendonitis in your shoulder. That, that can be a chronic injury where the tissue is not completely damaged, but is continually irritated. That can go on for three to nine months. But if you have an acute injury or a stretch to a tendon, that might be two to six weeks. You have a subacute, meaning it hasn't been immediately injured, but it's been strained over time. Now you're looking at, you, you might be looking at uh, two to four months. Uh, bone, they generally tell you six to 12 weeks for a fracture to heal. But if it's severe, if there is uh, multiple areas of fracture, if it's called comminuted, if it's a crush injury, it could be longer than that. Uh, ligaments, again, grade one, two, or three. Grade one, two to eight weeks. Grade two, two to six months. And grade three, six to 12 months. Now, let me just step aside and mention these ligament injuries. Some of these low-level ligament injuries can go from an acute injury to a more chronic, unstable injury, depending upon how you manage that injury. So if you overload a strained ligament that's a grade one, that's gonna delay the time for healing. If you underload an injury, it may delay the time for healing. So we'll talk about that specifically in future, in future uh, blogs. Let's talk about the, the forces. Um, basically, tissue gets injured when the mechanical energy or force applied to that tissue is greater than the tissue's ability to overcome it. If you think about exercise, exercise is nothing more than controlled stress to tissue. We control the quantity of the stress to the tissue, the tissue adapts and gets stronger. If that force is greater than that tissue's ability to overcome it, then it gets injured. And that's why people say, oh, I can't exercise because I have an injury. Well, it's about doing the right exercise at the right dosage. Um, so basically, the complexity of answering that question, there's a lot of, a lot of different things that can come into play. Uh, the first thing that I would, that I tell people when they ask me how long until I get better is we want to help them define, well, what is better? So we look at the injury. Is it an acute injury, high level force, cumulative trauma? Uh, is there been a surgical intervention? Then we step back and say, okay, how are we defining better? Being out of pain, improving your function, Tissue healing can occur and people may not feel better. And when we talk about specific injuries, we'll talk about the specifics of that. Lastly, I would want to discourage anybody from comparing your injury to your neighbor's injury or your uncle's injury or your sister's injury. We see it all the time with people who have had a specific surgery. Uh, someone may have an ACL repair, an anterior cruciate ligament repair and they get better, you know, they're able to walk and run in three or four months. And then you see someone else six, eight, 10 months later, they're not doing the same levels of activity and they might feel frustrated. Well, it may be a different surgery in terms of what graft they use. It also, the, the metabolic conditioning of that person may be different. So everybody's unique and you cannot compare where you are to where your neighbor or your, your, your uh, your relative is. All right, so I started out to answer the question, how long is it gonna take me to get better? And like most medical professionals, I didn't really answer the question. So each of your individual circumstances is gonna determine what that is. My hope for this video is that it encourages you to talk to someone about your specific circumstances. You can look at those timelines and a ligament might be two to six weeks to heal, but yours will be very different. So we can talk about that and you can feel free to comment. Uh, if the video has been helpful, like it, subscribe to our YouTube page, but by all means, if you have other questions, be sure to call someone, uh, your physical therapist or your doctor.